Hello all you beautiful people, welcome back to another art lesson. So in this lesson we are going to learn how to make a fancy tassel. In our previous lesson we learned how to make an easy tassel, but if you want a really, really fancy tassel using a very shiny thread or yarn that you can get at any craft store, uh, that's what we are going to learn today. So today yarn tassel you can do a multicolor one. Uh, you can use one color, you can use uh, many different colors. I'm going to use this silver shiny color that I have. You can use them on your graduation caps. You can also use them for a scarf, shawl or jewelry. There are many ways to do it. Um, this is how I do it. Um, if you find it very difficult because uh, there might be many easy ways on the internet to do it. But this is how I do it and um, I have followed a lot of ways and this is the one that I liked. So this is not an easy way, it's a long procedure. So if you want you can follow it to get that completely professional looking tassel. Um, if not, there are so many easy ways to do it. One of them has been showed in my previous tutorial so you can go ahead and follow that. Or you can follow this for a bit more professional but a complex way. So let's begin. The materials you require for this is just a yarn of your choice or a thread. Um, you get those thick threads also of fancy colors or a yarn of your choice, a pair of scissors and that's it. Let's begin. Okay, uh, this is something that I'm going to use to wrap my yarn around uh, because I want it to be a bit longer than tra traditional tassels. I like a uh, long yarn but if you want it a different size you can always get something smaller or something even bigger to wrap it around. So we are going to take the thing that we need to wrap around for the required length. Hold it at one end and we are going to wrap it around a couple of times. Wrap it around till the desired thickness is achieved. How fluffy you want the wrappings depend on that. So if you want it to be really fluffy, you'll make a couple of more rounds. So I think this is fine for me. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and cut this end off where I finished. And now we're gonna slide this off this. It should be easy to slide. There. Okay, now lay it down. It's okay, don't worry, it won't lose its form. You need to lay it down like this. Do not worry about loose ends, we're going to fix it. Then we go ahead and cut a piece of yarn. Go through one side of the hoops, loops, sorry. And we're going to tie an easy knot. We're not going to bring the knot all the way down. We're going to tie it up once twice and twice make sure it's strong then we're going to lay it down and the reason I tied it like this I'm going to show you later because I want the knot to be hidden inside so we're going to keep it like that see that and then go ahead and cut another piece. Now we're going to grab this end, grab it like this, make it a bit firm. Okay. 
Okay, so you want to hold this tight like this, leave some space, and then we take an extra piece of yarn, hold it here, and we're going to go around our tassel. I like to begin from behind because then I can see where I'm going. You need to go around a couple of times. Make sure you're going in a straight line. Don't make it too hard because then it'll be too fluffy. Do you see this? I, I hope you can see that I'm going around in straight lines. Go around a couple of times till you're happy with it and then go ahead and tie a knot. Then again, this is a lengthy process and there is also an easy way to make it in my other video. But this is for someone who wants it to be very, very professional and good looking tassel. We're going to go and chop those extra yarn pieces from there and then you can tuck your knot inside so that it's not visible. Okay, now we are going to go ahead and cut the ends over here. This is the time where you can also go ahead and give it a trim so that all the yarn pieces are of the same length. Okay, so now that we have that, this is the length that I actually like for tassels, so I had to make one with long threads. We go back here, get the extra piece of yarn. Take it inside, tuck it inside because I do not like to see knots then we're going to make this firm all the way here twist it a couple of times and then we're going to wrap it around the fingers bring it back inside the loop and tie a firm knot bringing it all the way down there it is that's our beautiful tassel now if you want you can take a piece of yarn or anything through this and hang it wherever you desire.